school introduced uh, Recycle Rally basically through the science classes. Started out doing science behind recycling. Our school first introduced the Recycle Rally by creating a movie for the entire school body. It showed a little bit about recycling, but also about what their plans, their goals were. There was a lot of games um, during our kickoff, and that kickoff on that Saturday just sparked so much interest within our students. What has really been important for me is making sure they understand why you recycle. On Recycle Rally, where it tells you the amount of energy that you've saved equals the weight of a whale, or that kind of stuff is really important because the kids see a difference. I did actually find a nonprofit that has a really good program going on. Their warehouse has the recycling equipment and the like the treadmills and all that sort of thing which I went in one day and I videoed all of that and created a, a presentation for the kids so they could see where the recycling was going. We were talking about different ways to continue to promote the excitement, to, to keep that excitement going within the students and within the families. And one of the things that we started to do was to do monthly competitions. So like a friendly, uh, like a friendly competition within classrooms and within grade levels. And that was really what sparked it. What I did was I talked to individual teachers about students that they thought would be good cycle assistants. I would go around school usually in the afternoons to pick up recycling. I would have my recycle assistants come with me and hold the bags and tie up the bags and so forth and so on. And the kids really loved it. And it wasn't just kids that were making good grades and whatnot. I w I'm a speech pathologist and I work with kids with special needs and those kids were rewarded by coming with me and, and being my recycle assistants. It, that worked really well. But our students we have, it's called Friends of the Earth, it's our club, so they don't like to see because they sort it, anybody put anything in the wrong place. So that peer pressure helps get the students to recycle correctly. My after school club, Eco Friends, is the one that sorts and weighs everything. One of them is the one that's keeping track of, of documenting, and then we have somebody that's using the scales. When our students leave elementary school, we see a lot of initiative for them to start a recycling program or a green team at the middle school level. Our green team is hands down one of the best group of kids all around. So not only are those students responsible for helping us sort through those cans and bottles, but they also act as the liaisons in their classroom. The Recycle Rally created leadership opportunities for our students because a lot of our students didn't have, we don't have a club outside of sports for students. They were interested in environmental activities and then they created media for our club. They created movies, so there was opportunities for people that were interested in the technology aspects of getting the word out but also people who wanted to um, make a change in their community. Often what I've done is found a couple of seniors that want to kind of take on the leadership role for recycling project. So I'll have a senior or maybe two seniors that are completely in charge of it, giving them a chance to do something in a leadership position in the school. It's changed their life. Some of them are thinking about pursuing jobs now in environmental science because of this. It has become something of who we are and what we look forward to doing. It's not, are we going to recycle? It's when are we going to recycle? They can make a difference. They've been able to learn, you know, kind of the science behind it to understand it's not just somebody saying, oh, you should recycle. They understand why you recycle. And with that knowledge, it has given them a lot of self-confidence. I mean, they're like, okay, I'm an expert in this. I know I can teach other people about it, even adults. So it's something that will help them not only in their confidence with this, but with other things too. Involve students. So if you have a handful of students in your class or you can recruit students that just have a general interest in the environment or recycling, let them make their goals. Guide them into what you think is feasible. 
but they may just blow you away. Share your passion for this program and for recycling. Don't underestimate the kids. They get this. I would tell my students all the time, this planet is yours. This is the planet you're gonna have when you grow up. And so it's real important to take care of it.